was what I do. <laughs> I didn't know I could do acting as a job. I just enjoy doing it. It's something to do on the weekends. I have a lot of extra energy and it's a good way to expel extra energy. The more I did it, the more I loved it. And the more I loved it, the more I did it. And I was really lucky. I went to the National Youth Theatre. I got a scholarship. My drama teacher at Sixth Form um, told me about it. Um, and I went there and I saw people my age who were like going to do it as an actual job and that gave me a kind of a bit of a boost that I needed to kind of investigate how do you become an actor um, and yeah that was it. Gosh there's so many different aspects I think with that particularly with The Tempest it was part of being part of that whole project that project's been seven years of my life now it started in 2012 um, with Julius Caesar and it was the ethos of trying to do old stories, classic stories, but, but telling them now. Uh, and why are we st you know, having a reason for still doing these stories? And I think part of that is casting. And actually having that all female casting, I think enlightens so many new things about age old plays. Um, and we saw it in you, so yeah. It's a hard one because it's always, whenever you meet a new direct, um, cast director, there is a kind of nervousness because you know that they have you know, they, they, they say yes or no kind of thing. Um, but I, what you've, you learn is that they just want you to do well. You know, they've chosen you to get in the room in the first place, so you've already, you're already winning if you're in the room. And once you're in the room, it's easier for them if you're great. And so they want you to do well, so I think it's about going, walking in, knowing that they're allies, you know, and not the enemy. Um, there's always going to be the in-between times. I think that's that happens. That happens for ages. It happens for years and years and years for me. Um, and you need to know how to fill it because it's not something that's going to go. And it's not something you should strive for. You should actually strive for doing great work. And when you're not, know how to not work. It's a weird one, but know what to do in your rest period because it's something that is part of being an actor. What would I tell myself about the industry? God, there's so much. I mean, there's so much, but I guess it's really enjoy the highs because there's highs and there's lows. So enjoy the highs because you don't know how long it's going to last. And when you're in the lows, it's not going to last forever. Mm -hmm.